do RAW or JPEG picture formats record the best photos? Well, RAW photos are unprocessed, apart from the processing used to create the image that is, and JPEGs have got some processing done to them in camera. So RAW is a file type and JPEG is a file type as well. I use RAW and do all the adjustments myself. This means that I am in complete control of the edits. Now, if you want to use JPEG, that's up to you. And cameras these days can produce some pretty amazing results. So this is what I suggest you do. Try both. With my Canon 6D, I could take photos in RAW and JPEG at the same time. So have a go at this and spend, spend some decent time editing a couple of images in both. And if you can't tell the difference, which there is a decent possibility of, JPEG might be okay for you, innit? And this saves you time and it allows you to use much smaller files. But if you want complete control, like I do, use RAW. But if you're using RAW, if you want to share the photos with somebody else, you've got to convert them to JPEG anyway. So there are advantages to JPEG. And within RAW and JPEG, there are many different quality settings. Um, I think there's about nine for JPEG and three for RAW. But I only ever use the highest quality setting, which is RAW. It's just called RAW. And that is the largest file size, but file size isn't an issue to me because I'm set up so it's not a problem. But that is an important factor for people. File size. JPEG files are compressed. They're much smaller. So if JPEG works for you, there's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to use RAW. Just because I do and other professional photographers do, you don't have to use RAW to get great photos. It depends. And the gap between the two is closing with the advancements in image capture and processing. Right, that's RAW and JPEG. There, there are other file formats, but those are the two main ones. 